Can you sit up? Jessie, come here. No, she roll over. Don't roll over to the, come here, come here, get up, get up. Hey, what is up? I'm Katie Bang and this is Jazzy and welcome to or welcome back to our channel. For today's video, we are going to be talking about the differences between male and female Dobermans. For those of you that are new here, I'm going to preface that I'm a dog trainer. All of my dog training is based around the fundamentals of dog psychology and dog behavior. And because of this, a lot of the focus of today's video is going to be on the psychological differences between a male and a female Doberman and based around the behaviors and the behavioral differences of a male and female Doberman. But to start out, I know that the physical differences of Dobermans are the most common and prominent, obviously, because you can see it with your eyes. So male Dobermans are between 27 and 29 inches tall and female Dobermans are between 24 and 26 inches tall. As far as actual size and weight goes, male Dobermans can be anywhere from 70 to 100 pounds and female Dobermans can be anywhere from about 60 to 80 pounds. So when it comes to the Doberman's look and appearance, I like to describe a male Doberman as stockier. They look just thicker and more like they lift weights per se if they were working out. They are my definition of a hunk a hunk in a dog. And then for female Dobermans, which is what Jazzy is here. Oh, Daisy your pa, Daisy your pa, Daisy your pa. Um, so for female Dobermans, they are very agile. They have a little bit more of that stoic look. They look like they could effortlessly hop over a fence and they just are very elegant and stoic and thin, but athletic and sleek. So as far as behavior goes, how I'm going to preface this video is males are pretty goofy and all over the place and they don't take life too serious, but they're very territorial. And females are very serious, they're into their people, they're very attentive, and they are very serious and very caught off guard when it comes to strangers. They're very standoffish. So. As far as how this applies to real life situations, when you have a male Doberman, they might be a good family dog for the fact that they get along with everyone in the family versus a female Doberman who is definitely going to pick their person and then just be along for the ride with that one person and be more protective of that one person. The male Dobermans are more protective of their territory, their land, and they're not gonna be as focused on being attentive to that one person as much. Females are definitely more in tune with someone's emotions and how they're feeling and are more sensitive to that where males are more happy-go-lucky. When it came to my decision on if I wanted a male or female Doberman, I called Jazzy's breeder and I was like, hey, this is pretty much what I'm thinking. Jazzy is pretty high anxiety, but that is because of her past. She didn't have the best upbringing on the show circuit. She had a pretty awful handler, but that's a whole another story for another day and I did not have her at the time. And her breeder is fantastic by the way. So as far as calling him, I was like, hey, I'm thinking about getting a Doberman. What is your opinion? And he was like, since you're a dog trainer and you're bringing in a bunch of different dogs for board and trains, a female is a little bit more intense and standoffish when it comes to new dogs sometimes, but they're a lot more trainable. So they're a lot more trainable to be coexisting with other dogs and to be attentive to what you need versus meeting the new dogs and deciding if they like them or not. Male Dobermans, he said he won't even give a male Doberman to a household that already has another male dog in it. It doesn't matter if the other male dog is submissive or isn't intact and has been neutered. It just is not something that he's willing to do because it's very common for male Dobermans to start having issues with other males. So with that being said, it sounded like I was getting a female, but I wasn't 100% sold on wanting a female Doberman. So I kept doing my research and some of the things that I found are that female Dobermans are a lot calmer when they're younger. Dobermans are always going to be very high energy and need a lot of exercise. In order to properly own a Doberman, especially how I am with Jazzy because she's higher anxiety, I have to take her on a bike ride every morning. She goes on a walk every single day with her backpack on so she feels like she has a job. She is just constantly working. We're doing training all throughout the day to keep her mind busy and at bay. And as far as how many miles we do a day, I go 12 miles with Jazzy every single day. So with a Doberman that has prior behavioral issues, 
you do have to fulfill them a lot more. An actual Doberman, whether it's a boy or a girl, is going to need hours of structured exercise every single day. As far as trainability, males are more in the realm of wanting to please their owners, where females are more in the realm of wanting to do a job. So as far as when you go to train a male Doberman, you can use a lot of play-based training because they want to please, they have fun with everything, they want to work, where females can be a little bit more stubborn because they're more analytical. So they're thinking through what you're asking them to do. So females usually pick stuff up quicker and retain it a lot more, but males are always just willing to work and wanting to go and do something. And if you really bring out how much they love to play and use it to your advantage, you can train them a lot. But females are definitely picking that up, retaining it a little bit quicker because they're more analytical. But it is also known that at the beginning phases, females will test you a little bit more when it comes to how bad do you want them to do this trick or what's the easiest way around getting this job done that you're asking them to do where males are just happy-go-lucky like, okay, tell me what to do, I'll do it. It is also commonly known health-wise that males tend to have some more hip issues. They're a little bit more prone to heart issues and females are not as prone to that. There isn't a real reason why. I was looking around the internet trying to figure out like, hmm, why is this? And I couldn't figure it out. So I'm thinking it is just plainly the obvious fact that males are a little bit bigger than females. And obviously bigger dogs are more likely to have some health issues, especially when it comes to common hip issues like hip dysplasia. As far as play-wise, I have noticed with a lot of the male Dobermans I've worked with is they love to play fetch, they love to be all over the place, they love to run. Where what I've noticed my female Doberman enjoys a lot more is going for walks. She loves doing agility and structured things. She likes where she has like a job that she focuses on. She's not huge into just like running around aimlessly around the yard like some of the male Dobermans I've worked with have been. She likes to have a job or have something to focus on and then put her energy into it. So they're a little bit different on how they're outputting their energy and how they like to get the outlets for their energy. So when you're getting a Doberman or considering getting a Doberman, the thing that both of these breeds have in common is they are super attentive. They want to guard. They're naturally so protective. So as far as teaching a Doberman, to do bite work or guard work, usually it's not recommended, especially like for me when I'm having Dobermans and family situations, I'm not recommending my clients to have their Dobermans do a lot of guarding training or anything like that because naturally they're so protective that you don't wanna bring out too much of that and influence it too much or else you might have an overly protective dog. So as far as that goes, males are usually chosen for the protective training just because they do respond so well to like that play training and stuff like that. But it's not something that I'm super into or would recommend. And my Dobermans personally have always just been so protective of me. Naturally, they know like if someone's coming in, they're not coming out of my house alive. Like my Dobermans are, or my Doberman and soon to be Dobermans are the most protective dogs I've ever met. So as far as that goes, it's not a huge concern of mine personally, but if you were into that, a male would be the way to go. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you and I am so excited for my Doberman. If you want to guess her name, write it down below because picking out a female was something I honestly didn't think I would do. I have my two boy dogs, my Australian Shepherd and my Coyote Chow Mix that I use to rehabilitate other dogs. And I really like what we have going with the boys. So I thought I was just gonna be a boy dog mom forever. But I did research, I figured out that a girl would be the right dog for me. So if you enjoy this video and if you're considering getting a Doberman or if you just like the breed, comment down below what Doberman gender you think would be the best for you. If a male would fit into your lifestyle better or if a female would fit into your lifestyle better, I'm interested, so let me hear it.